Y'all have a good night. You too. Yep, I'm working nights, so I'm going to bed. See Yay, you, go sleep. Woo! By the way, thank you so much, everybody, for stopping on by, supporting these players. I recommend following the different people that we have, uh, especially showing your support if you do follow them. It's always exciting to see people cheering and celebrating in chat. Thank you as well. I see that we got a resub from Thaizu. That's a little bit scary, but it's been two years. I guess I'll play another one of your games one of these days. Uh, also, we did have some bits. Thank you, Toon Pirate, for dropping those, scattering them all about. Tails for resubscribing. Gustian as well, jumping in. I believe I said thank you before, but it doesn't hurt to say it again. You know what? Everybody has been, you know, just enjoying the last matches. We had a strange Titus the Fox game. We had a fun ramen game. And now, you know what? We have a lovely Jeff game. So come on in, Jeff. Come join the chat. I'd, I'd love to talk to you. Hello! Hi, Brucentia. Hey, chat. How's it going? I think they're excited to see what you're choosing. I'm pretty excited about uh, what I chose as well. Um, we have... Uh, I, I'm, I'm going back to a console system. I've gotten a whole ton of DOS games in. I very rarely pick handhelds. So today is your lucky day. Ooh, a handheld. I'm excited. A handheld. Um, the Game Boy Color. Okay. Which, as you know, has a has a wonderful library. <laughs> um, yeah. And this is, of course, not from its uh, uh, licensed library. Got a little little thing from our friends over in China. Ah, oh, thank you, China. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Um, but I will tell you that it is basically the from the Ice Age movies. It's a it's a Chinese version of a platformer based on that. Okay, so, so I'm taking a look at this. I don't understand what I'm seeing, but I oh, it's Sid. It's Sid the Sloth. Yeah, it's the Sloth. Sid the Sloth. Oh my gosh, no! I hate Ice Age so much. I am never doing another Ice Age voice again in my life. I'm so done. Well, today's your lucky day because no. four other people have to do this. Well, you just thank get goodness. to sit and watch. I mean, that's, that's good. As long as it doesn't have any actual Ice Age music, I might be okay. Uh, it... I don't know that you'll be okay with the music. It, it's very repetitive but it's very you know, we'll get to that soon enough okay just so everybody knows uh yeah i genuinely uh, there are very few movies that i dislike as much as ice age it's not an act i really dislike it but we'll go ahead and get through it as much as possible uh, and honestly, it could end up being an enjoyable watch. The reason I hate Ice Age so much, by the way, is because it came out at the time where I had little siblings who just wanted to watch it over and over and over again, and everybody wanted to watch it a billion times, and I just couldn't handle it because, I don't know, a, a movie starring a baby? Like, Baby's Day Out did that. Nobody loved Baby's Day Out. Well, this is a, not a baby-based game. Um, we, we've had quite a few of those this season, but this is a sloth-based game. A sloth-based game. Is there a baby in it? Um, not that I found. I mean, maybe some of the animals are babies, but I don't see any human babies. Okay, good. But, good. Never mind. So if there are no babies, then this is vastly superior to Ice Age 1, the movie. Uh, okay. <laughs> if that's your criteria, sure. That, I, I've that's never, all I need. That's absolutely all I need. any of the Ice Age movies, so I have no idea what's going on here. I just know there's a sloth. And uh, y'all who've seen the movies can help me with uh, some of these other characters you'll be seeing in it. 
How- Okay, Faisu, you... calm- calm down. Um, I'm gonna try and pronounce. Um... Do it. Okay, wait, let me- Okay, Bing, Yuan, Li, Xian, Ji, Tu. That was pretty good. There you go. I like it. I'm proud of you, Jeff. That's... I don't know that I could say it all together. <laughs> I don't know necessarily how accurate that was, but that was pretty decent. Alright, well, now ears. I've done the hard... Good pronunciation. Thank you, Tootie Pirate. Oh, Aww. Look. We just have love here. Just so you know, Jeff. All that we great. have is love. I'm glad everybody has love for me. I have garbage for the uh, gamers today. That's that's how we show our love. Garbage is love. Garbage is love. Or love is garbage. One of those. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> it might be true, though, you know? You never know. Dang old love just causing so many problems in my life. Yeah, so, you I'm... know, I, I was here just on uh, two days ago. Yes. And uh, we, we did the uh, the Mars game. Turns out uh, Author Blues was able to figure out how to get across that, uh, to, to, to grab the vine. You just walk off the cliff. You just walk off the cliff? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you hold up and walk off the cliff. And that's that, pretty much it. That's it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping that... Um, there, there is one mechanic in this game that's not at all obvious. So I'm hoping it won't take people too long to get it. Do they um, just have to figure it out themselves? I, I, I told them a, a one hint for it. So okay, right at the beginning, you're going to see uh, jumps that are too high to make. And so you need to double jump. So first I told them double jump is a thing that exists. And second, I told them you have to be carrying an ice cube. Okay, double. by the way, uh, if you are one of the players, do not be listening right now. Turn off the stream, close it, get out of chat, because we're going to spoil stuff, probably. Okay. Uh, well, I was just I was just saying what I told them already. But okay, yeah. so they already know all that. Yes. Nice. Well, that's hopeful. I'm glad that you were helpful. Uh... I'm wondering, because I've played my own fair share of bootlegs, if that knowledge would necessarily help. It's possible. So there's an interesting question. I came across uh, a thing on this uh, Ice Age wiki that suggests it's not actually a Chinese bootleg. And I'm not entirely sure I believe this article, but um, apparently... Uh, there was going to be an Ice Age video game for Game Boy Color and N64 that didn't happen. It was canceled, but somehow the copies of it got released in China. Um, and it says there's no, uh, no evidence that it is a pirate bootleg, but I think the evidence is just from looking at the game. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I believe that article. I don't know. I'm just going back and forth, by the way, to make sure that we can get audio fixed and loud enough so that you all can hear the beautiful tunes. This is certainly music. If, if for some reason it gets a little bit... Uh, if, if for some reason we can't get the audio loud enough on karaoke, Zarf has also volunteered audio. Oh, there we go. I hear those tunes.
everything sounds good. Oh my gosh, this is certainly going to be an Ice Age video game. You can tell by the jumping, uh, sloth. See, there's a baby! I told you there was a baby! <laughs> Jeff, you lied to me. I not not in the game. I mean, these, these uh, are like scenes from the movie. Okay, I am asking them to get to the title screen because I am ready to go. I'm ready for this game and I'm ready for it to be over. But you know what? The game's <laughs> probably going to be better than the movie, so I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I just need to tell myself that. But What? A title screen. Okay, I've got three out of four people who have confirmed that they are ready. AJ is typing. Okay, everybody, if you have any emotes of slot or slots, babies, actually, spam all the babies. Spam all of the babies, okay? Baby rage, uh,. Teardrops, if you have any saber tooth tigers or tigers at all, those are cool. Uh, mammoths, do you have it? I don't know. I don't know what other emails. Just spam! Because as soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will start our timer. There we go. I see babies. Good, good. All right, Great. Jeff. All right, so there we go. We got a little sloth who has big paws that hit things, and uh, you see when you uh, attack it, wow, <laughs> Sharif got that uh, figured out right away. Um, so yeah, when you attack an enemy it turns into an ice cube. What? Okay, so killing enemies gives you ice, and then you and then use once the you ice the... to jump. Yes. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, it sort of makes sense, I guess. Oh boy, yeah, Zarf is trying to figure out how to do the double jump here. Okay. While you're holding the block, do you just need to press jump again in order to use it as a jump? Uh, yeah, so you're basically, like, um, jumping and then uh, jumping off the block. Okay. That's an interesting mechanic that I don't know if I've ever seen in a video game. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that either. I mean, certainly there are situations where, like, speedrunners make use of things like that, but I don't, I don't recall seeing something like that that's intentional. Yeah, same here. Let's see. I'm gonna be fixing something with Sharif's capture. Don't y'all worry. It'll get fixed. Just when we have bootleg games, you never know if it's going to be captured completely correctly. <laughs> ah, so, uh, okay, I see penguins. That makes sense in an Ice Age. Penguins would be thriving in this universe. Yeah, and then there's an owl or something? I don't know, some, some type of bird in the background. An owl? Could know. be an owl. Hey, hey, uh, it looks like Sharif is on to stage two. Well, that was fast. Wow. Oh, yeah, that was great. So these um, collectibles don't really do all that much. Um, so players can safely ignore them. There's some kind of bonus you get, but I never... I like the guys with them. machine guns. Oh, yeah. That was a thing back then. It certainly was. Do, do, do. Do, do. Owls definitely do who quite a bit. I don't know. Okay, so this is definitely a platformer. Uh, it looks like karaoke is on to stage two. She's doing pretty well so far. Everybody... Wow, this is music. I feel like you can probably just go through that door if you try hard enough. Yeah, you know, with a lot of Chinese bootlegs, uh, the mechanics are janky enough that if you just try, you can push your way through a lot of things. 
Okay, so... Bootlegs. Let's go ahead and talk about bootlegs, because uh, this obviously has some janky mechanics. It's got kind of a triangle jump, although not what you uh, always see when it comes to bootlegs. You actually sort of stop at the top of your triangle jump and then start descending. It just seems a little odd. Yeah, what else can you tell me about this game at this moment, Jeff? Is there anything else that they're experiencing that we don't really see yet? Not really. Um, the, uh, the little guy with the nut gives you health. Yeah, you gotta steal his nut. You steal his nut, that gives you health. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I don't, I don't know what else to say. There's, there's a boss at the end of uh, every three stages. Okay, so 1-3, or the end yeah. of 1-3 is a boss. Good to right. know. Okay, do the crystals actually do anything at all? Um, I, I think they give you an extra life or something like that. Whatever it was, it wasn't important. Well, Sharif just having a hard time getting back up. Luckily, he found the ladder. I like the sprite when you climb, though. Okay, that one's pretty adorable. Yeah, it's Oh my gosh. Sprite. If I had only played this, I would have actually probably enjoyed the movies. <laughs> like, I love this so much. Your hand is so big when you attack, too. Oh, it looks like Sharif has the key. The key to get to the end of the level. Now, I'm pretty sure this is another game that I actually have in my collection, uh, because I went searching quite a bit for Chinese bootlegs, but I never actually got to this. Uh, I never gave this one a shot. I had Corn Dan test this out for me, and he already had it in his collection as well. Um, but it so it seems like there are copies of this floating around out there, but oh, yeah. um, not something that a lot of people have actually played when I looked for YouTube videos of it. I only oh, saw... It looks like 1-3 is an auto-scroller. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. <laughs> not only that, but there are red orbs that you have to grab onto. Right, because every auto-scroller needs red orbs. Oh my gosh. Is, is what chat, is this lag? Orbs? Oh my gosh, Sharif! Orbs? There we go. We do have orbs showing up in chat. Oh my gosh. That's a meme that can go ahead and die a slow, painful death. <laughs> I think the Oh uh, no, Sharif the touched the left side of the screen. Yeah. Didn't happen. Oh, it looks like people in chat like the meme. Okay, I will do whatever's popular. That's how I spend my whole life. Wait, no, we <laughs> we play, play bootlegs here. <laughs> That's like the opposite of my motto. <laughs> Which is wow. I, I'm full I hope of you're regret. Not left-handed because left-handed left is death yeah so i've learned the left the left side of things is death it's the death side oh i've read enough of the bible to know that left-handed people are evil i'm sorry it actually says that it says that you're sinister <laughs> you're evil my mom was left-handed, my grandma actually forced her to use her right hand, so she's sort of ambidextrous at this point. Uh, but yeah, that was such a weird, like, urban legend that, uh, left-handedness is the sign that you are of the devil. It's about as reliable an indicator as any other that I know. Yeah. Actually, maybe, like, the murder count is a pretty good indicator that you're evil. <laughs> if you have one of those at all, at all, okay, let's, let's just put you in the evil list right there. 
I think I'm on somebody's list for handing out games like this. Although this this is not uh, not one of the worst ones I've given out. It's uh, just kind of fun, jank, fun with janky physics. I oh yeah, uh, I found it a little difficult, but um, but it enjoyable playthrough as long as you um, the music gets real repetitive. But aside from that, I enjoyed it. I actually feel like this is possibly one of the more enjoyable bootlegs I've seen. I mean, that's not really a difficult scale of things to be on, and, you know, it's... This is... Yeah, the, these players took fourth place in their individual matches. This is definitely a good level of jank that luckily is kind of playable. Yeah, so this game um, was no. released by Sint... This is S-I-N-T-A-X. Why and... is the music for the auto-scroller so... boring? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't deal with this! Why? <laughs> I mean, auto-scrollers are allowed to be boring, that's their purpose. It's... it's so calm! <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is... Like, I know this music somehow, Jeff. Why do I know this music? I don't know. They probably stole it from something else. Karaoke just gets to wait until death. I love how happy this is, and now karaoke's gonna die. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> It sounds like Link's Awakening. It very well could be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody except Zarf is on the auto-scroller. I think Zarf will be able to get there fairly soon. Whoever beats it first, like, takes the lead. Wow. Oh so my gosh. Syntax, yeah. which released this, they've actually released, like, 100. Uh, games or so, so they uh, they picked out some some interesting uh, bootlegs uh, to put on Game Boy Console and uh, Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah. I mean, they're no Hummer team, but you know they're pretty good. Wait. Okay, I'm reading this information about. Uh, this Game Boy Color version here, and I'm not sure if they intentionally misspell everything, but uh, Okay, I'm reading through it. However, Game Boy Color copies were released in China. Some say it is a pirate bootleg, but there's no evidence for this claim. Sure, there's not. <laughs> in gameplay, you play as an animated character that somewhat resembles Sid the Sloth, and there are three levels of each environment. You collect 50 ice crystals on all levels to earn a bonus. Yeah, sure, 50. Uh, you also climb ladders to higher grounds. You also grab enemies such as Saber, Tooth, Tiger, Neanderthal, and Abomi- Abominable Snowman in order to do a double jump or super attack on another enemy. In order to restore health, you come up to Scrat and steal his walnut. There is a boss fight at the end of every third level. I'm glad that the Neanderthals uh, have guns. At least they managed to defend themselves like that, you know? This music is killing me, Jeff! And the auto scroller is so long. Yeah. This is this is amazing. So all of you game devs out there, if you put an auto scroller in, be sure to put this music in as well. <laughs> because it's so inspiring. In fact, I feel like we're going on a journey to get out of this current ice age. Oh no. Sharif, please don't die. Okay, Sharif made the jump. So what do you, I, I was calling them ice cubes, but what do you think these things are that you're holding? They look like it's supposed to be a stunned enemy because there's eyeballs, but 
that the enemy is somehow in an ice block? You know, you have to watch the movie to find out what they are. <laughs> and then there's that adorable little monkey on Sharif's screen. Yeah, it's can... hanging out there. Yeah, it's a very chill monkey. You know, I'm almost thinking that they're like rescue ranger blocks. But, like, when you pick up the rescue ranger boxes and then duck, and you have eyes, sort of like that. Yeah, this stage is total butts. If you're going to have an auto-scroller, what you need to do is... Oh no, AJ, enjoy your death. Looks like everybody is on the auto-scroller. Like, you can have misleading paths, but if you do, you need to at least allow a sliver of hope that people can actually get back and not die. That is generally a good sign of an auto-scroller that's done right. Give some hope. Oh, so, do you feel like taking a nap? A, a, a nap. Go sleep. I Oh, karaoke into the pit! Oh no! Thank you, Syntax. There's speculation that BBD was one of the people who worked on this. Apparently, they did uh, develop a number of early Syntax games, as far as I can see. Who knows if they actually worked on this, but they possibly did. Uh, okay, I'm seeing history. Fox and Interactive Ubisoft, the creators of Ice Age for Game Boy Advance, were going to remake the Game Boy Advance game Ice Age for Game Boy Color, as well as make a an N64 video game adaptation of the movie. Thank goodness they didn't. Oh my gosh. Uh, the game was scrapped, and custom Game Boy Color copies were being released in China. So, I don't think this was stolen from them. Maybe they stole some of the assets? But, other than that... I don't know. I mean, it's bad, and it's Chinese. I don't know that makes that much difference whether it's a bootleg or not. Also, I can swear that Sid has saber teeth as well. Yeah. Why does he have saber teeth? Saber tooth sloth? That sounds <laughs> deadly. Well, Somebody needs to go back in time and grab some of that DNA and bring it into the present. I like it. Why is the level so long? Jeff, why is it so long? So freaking well, long! I mean, there are only three uh, levels per area. It's so, so long! Ugh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! It's not okay. So, yeah, the funny thing about this uh, is uh, all of the videos on YouTube of people playing this, they just quit after 1 2. <laughs> Wait, really? They don't finish this stage? Nobody, nobody wants to do 1-3. Well, so I can't blame long. them! It's so long in the music! It's like, I don't know, this is the kind of music that it's like, oh, you just found your sister who you thought was dead, and it turns out she's not. She's very much alive, but she is cursed to look like a very old version of Steam Buscemi, and so you have to go find a spell in order to undo that stupid curse. And, you know, this is the inspirational, go do it. I just am so ugly. And I'm your sister. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to have some idea how far they are through the levels, I mean, the, the crystals give you a vague idea of about how far you are. Um, so, you know, they're... Okay. We've, we've so, seen more than half. Zarf is doing pretty well, and Sharif as well. Yeah. It's not too much longer. 
You know what? If we had a live action Ice Age movie, having Steve Buscemi would be fine, you know? As Sid. That I'd probably rather watch that than the original movie, okay? <laughs> I love how when you die, you sound like a bunch of wasps. Yeah, I'm sad about karaoke dying, but it's the circle of life. Ah, uh, it's the wrong movie. What, are you saying that death doesn't exist in other movies? No, it's just, just not a song. Movie. It's just a song oh. in other movies. Okay. Oh my gosh. Everybody just having a blast in the auto scroller. Jeff, I like that you chose a game that's 90% this auto scroller. <laughs> I, I I didn't actually uh, make it through the auto scroller. I just got so bored. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? No, I didn't get past it. Did you it's have just, people so test long. it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Did they Corn make Dan it through the auto scroller? Corn Dan? Are you here? I, Did you do it? I don't. I didn't. I didn't expect him to play the whole thing. Did you so. expect him to play one three? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, it works. Uh, and they'll they'll make it through. Truth is gonna make it through. I have faith. Oh my gosh. Alright, there's another little monkey. Oh, that poor monkey got turned into an ice block. Yeah, he had it coming. What he's a just, dummy. He's just sitting there doing nothing. But I love that the enemies respawn. I mean, I guess it's kind of useful since you need the, uh, the ice blocks at times. Okay, Carrie. I, I see Carrie hopping in right now. I want to know what your opinions are of the original Ice Age movie. Okay, please let me know because I am very much against it. Yo, Sharif, we're past one three. Oh, and you get evil rhinoceros. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Sharif has made more progress than literally anybody on YouTube. More than more than anybody ever. Oh, Carrie, you think? I don't, I don't think the devs even play this that long. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised that anybody actually developed this. Oh, there's a heart. Is that life up? I don't know. Well, right, the heart's the end of the level, I guess. Okay. That's oh wow, cool. we're on to area stage what? two. Oh, and it is a permanent health upgrade. Aw. Thank you, devs. I'm excited to see you lose that as soon as you game over. <laughs> well, it has continues. Wow, okay, Carrie used to hate Ice Age. See, maybe it was just a family thing, but we all hated Ice Age. I still hate it. So much. Wait, your kids like to watch Ice Age? Wow, your kids. Hey, okay. Let me just say, Carrie's kids. Hey, if you are listening to this, go watch a real movie, okay? Not something with kid the cloth running around. <laughs> you know. See, ha have, am I right? There haven't been any human babies since we started the gameplay. Thank goodness. We got that going for it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, that, that... Like, this movie is... Or, this video game is better than the movie, Essentia's Children, so... <laughs> go watch a different movie. <laughs> <laughs> this auto-scroller! I just need this music to stop! It's way too <laughs> happy. You watched I mean, Wreck-It Ralph 2? Where... 
Once you learn where to go on the auto scroller, you just have to do it. It's slow, but you gotta play through it a couple times to figure out what they want you to do. Um, but I think we'll see everybody get past it pretty soon. You have to go through it slow? That's almost like saying you have to ride a bicycle in Portland. It's just a given. <laughs> I didn't mean you you want to go through it slowly. I mean, you, oh, you, no, you literally have, to. have no choice. The movie was an auto-scroller? I guess I didn't pay too much attention when I was watching it. The 50 billion times that my little sisters wanted to watch Ice Age because, oh, Ice Age, it's... For some reason, we have no personality, we just need to watch it 50 billion times. No, my sisters did have personality, but apparently they really enjoyed this movie. Were they in Teenage Girl Squad by any chance? They could be. <laughs> Cheerleader! What's her face? So and so! The ugly one! Yeah, it's... It's good stuff. Man, everybody, if you didn't grow up in the 90s, you were missing out on falsetto. That's still a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that still exists! <laughs> oh my gosh. The ugly one is just uh, the pre-carnation of the pre-incarnation of Steve Buscemi, yeah. Uh, as it turns out, Steve Buscemi is a reincarnation oh, of 90s karaoke cartoons. karaoke was almost through with that level. It's karaoke, no! I think karaoke is a little upset. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Well, now that they know what to do, they can just go right ahead and do it and finish up the auto scroller in, you know, five minutes. Zarf is typing this tormentable auto scroller is 15 minutes long with no <laughs> checkpoints, and karaoke replied, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Carrie, your kid wants to watch Cars 3 every day? Oh no. Oh no, everybody, let's go ahead and get some funeral wreaths for Essentia because that is just death. A fate worse than death. Oh, we're seeing Fs in chat, yeah. Cars 3. You know, I never even saw Cars 2, thank goodness. But I also don't have children. Also thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know, raising a kid would be pretty funny. I feel like... I would probably try to scare the child a lot, though. <laughs> <laughs> Scary children is so much fun! Hey, James! No, that's a death! Zarf just gonna die. Bleh. <laughs> but I, I guess I got that from my father, you know, because he loved to scare us. Am I gonna quote that? What was it? Uh, well, scaring children is fun? Okay, look, Jeff, right next to our house, we had what we called the pit. Uh, and... That sounds pretty foreboding, and it kind of was a little bit. You know, it was this place that, uh, the... I, I don't know, Bureau of Land Management came and dug a whole bunch of dirt in order to put somewhere else, and so, you know, there... It's just this big pit that had been overgrown with trees and weeds and stuff, and it was fun to go hang out there and play, but my dad decided he was going to take us all out one night, and, uh... Let's see, play this trick on my youngest sister. I don't know, she was like, I don't think she was even eight years old at the time. So he gave us all a penny uh, and essentially said, what you have to do is cross 
under this arch, walk under this arch it, uh, that this natural tree had made, and you have to hold your penny and wish good luck. Why is it buzzing? Karaoke? I think yeah, karaoke I might beat the this. level! I just let it keep going. Hopefully the level ends. <laughs> what? I know, I, I've seen the sound break before in this and it just keeps buzzing. Um, I don't know what causes that, but... Did Sharif softlock? I, I don't think so. I mean, you're supposed to go inside that room to get the key. Uh, I don't know how they expect you to get out, though. <laughs> okay, Sharif managed to get back to the level select. Alright. Start plus well, select exits the level. That's good to know. Uh, karaoke, I'm wondering if karaoke is going to be able to uh, finish the stage. Wow, this game isn't really working all that well. <laughs> it looks like karaoke has opted not to try to finish the stage, but use the reset that was given in uh, Discord. Honestly, I would have just let it play through, personally. But I'm cool with that. Okay, it looks like Sharif is on 2-2, everybody else on 1-3. Yeah. So as far as progress, Sharif did get the key already in 2-2, so that's the metric of, for somebody to uh, um, to take over, they'd have to beat 2-2 at this point. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I was going to tell a story, but it was Please. taking too long. Let me go ahead and do uh, the summary version. My dad pretended to die, and then he came back... <laughs> to life and we convinced my little sister that he was a zombie we dragged her out of the pit as she screamed and cried and then finally got back in the house my dad started pounding on the wall boom, 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 boom. And we're like ah, zombie dad's gonna get you my mom finally came in the room and said oh guys how about y'all shut up <laughs> uh so and that's how we uh, uh, played tricks on each other. Wow. Yeah, so... I, yeah, I, I think that, you know, we have anxiety and stuff in my family for a reason. But it was fun! Okay. I, I see you get, <laughs> I see where you get your idea of fun from now. <laughs> yeah. A healthy kid thing? No, my dad was totally the one who thought this up. <laughs> Anyways, it was a good time. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like Kuso. It's a good time for everybody except for the people being tormented. Yeah, I mean, uh, she probably laughs about it right now. Oh yeah, if if Essentia's kids were watching right now, we could try to convince them to have fun. <laughs> Alright, well the game seems to be functioning as a game at the moment, so that's a plus for it. Hey, Sharif is through the next stage. Please don't be another uh, auto scroller. No, it is! Uh, Jeff! No, why? Yeah. Why would every third level be an auto scroller? Alright, well, think about it this way. Imagine that uh, you're a parent and you're gonna, you're gonna buy your kid a game. You get them one of them uh, Mario games, the kids just run through it in like five minutes. You get this. Uh, it takes them a really long time. So, if you're a parent, you want to go for the uh, the Chinese bootlegs, 
over Mario, it's uh, a much better value for you. Yeah, at least they last. A I don't know. This, they last this could a last you your entire life. <laughs> you might never finish this ever. Oh my gosh. Alright, but I think we'll see about one to two more players finish the uh, auto-scroller, at least. So AJ is just about done. Okay, we have Sharif moving on slowly. Everybody's doing auto scrollers. This is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's especially fun to torment speedrunners with auto scroller levels. For people that play games casually or do long plays or whatever. Yeah, they, they have a certain tolerance for things taking a while, but this must be just like, just real heck for the speedrunners. Oh yeah. Also, to be fair, the auto scroller is slow, but you are a slow. Maybe that's why it has auto scrollers like this. Oh my gosh, we're getting into the deep, dark history of uh, this game. And the developers, they're like, you know, it only makes sense. Oh, Zarf. I think Zarf is very unhappy with this level. Oh, yeah, karaoke and... Is karaoke gonna make it? No! The monkey! Right at the... <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, oh my gosh. I mean, the platform went off the screen, so of course it's gonna slide you off. I mean, yeah. that's the logical thing to do. Wow, they're both back to the beginning. I thought, so sure we were gonna see one of them get through. Movie by DMV employees? That's from, uh, uh, what's the movie? Um, uh, Zootopia. The sloth is a DMV employee. Oh, yeah. I hear they're doing a Zootopia too. They possibly could. I know a lot of people that will really want to see that. You know, I'd I'd watch it. Well, okay, I, I presume we probably have a lot of people here who would want to watch that. I definitely would. Has to be better than Cars 2, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, that's the thing. Like, I still don't trust too many Disney sequels. Because... It's, oh, you know what? Actually, I don't trust Pixar sequels. Disney sequels I'm usually fine with. That That's my main concern, because I never really was a fa I don't know. Pixar's only somewhat okay sequel was Toy Story 2, and even then it was a significant downgrade from the original. Toy Story 3 just... Terrible. Terrible, in my opinion. Toy Story 4... Like, Toy Story 3 was like, Hey, you know the story that we had in Toy Story 2? Let's just do it again. Except we're gonna add some fat little bear who, uh, like, doesn't eat... I don't know. Who's dumb. And then we're going to make everybody seem to die. And add, like, this... Star Wars Episode 3 lava-filled scene... 
uh, that's going to make you miserable for how long? For like five, ten minutes? I don't know. I wasn't a big... I didn't like Toy Story 3. It was bad. And now there's going to be Toy Story 4, and I just can't wait for Pixar to ruin that one as well. They're making a 4? They I are. 3 was kind of the kind of the end. Kind of seemed final. Well, you know, it was like Toy Story 2 was almost an end, but no. Guess... Oh my gosh, Sharif. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sharif is definitely in the lead right now. It's going to be hard to overtake Sharif at this point. Um, yeah, Aladdin th and the King of Thieves was Aladdin 3, and it's definitely better than Return of Jafar. I don't know. Aladdin 3, if you haven't seen it... Like, it's definitely not as high quality as the first Aladdin, but a lot of it's actually pretty enjoyable. I'd I'd recommend it. Yeah, Lion King 2 was pretty okay. Oh my gosh, Barbie's just haunting us! <laughs> it's it's because we talked about Toy Story, Jeff. <laughs> Barbie's just here to make sure we know she's watching. I've, I've been looking for a good Barbie game to give out during Kuso, but nothing really has seemed uh, race-worthy. I don't know. I mean, we've had the first Barbie, I believe, in Kuso Grande before. Yeah, um, there's, what, the, the Game Boy version? There's Game Boy, there's NES Barbie. No! Oh, Sharif! Into the pit! Oh my gosh. Jeff, I did not expect to have, like, 40 minutes of an auto-scroller, but here we are. Well, it's it's good. It's given, uh, it's given us in chat some time to bond. It's so frustrating that this is so bad. Yeah, we, we get to talk about the best of games. Gosh. You know, there's one game that I really wish we could have, but it's just never going to happen. Uh, What's that? We had a state in one of the gauntlets, I believe, by the way. It's NSYNC Get to the Show, and it's just not oh, yeah. going to work uh, as, oh. as an individual match. But uh, I found out that the store here has a boxed copy. What? Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. Box copy of NSYNC Get to the Show. No, karaoke! Wait, wait, you have stores there? Oh my gosh. Jeff. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? You sound like somebody who's from New York or another fairly large city. I am. Someone from a fairly large city. And possibly New York. I actually don't know where you're from, I'm, but... I'm from D.C. You're from D.C.? Oh, that's a fairly large city. Mr. Yeah. Oh, guess what? We have at least one shopping mall that doesn't have half of the stores out of business. Yeah. We don't really have shopping malls anymore. Those are kind of like a 80s and 90s thing. Everything now Not is... Not here in like Utah! <laughs> urban, I don't know what they call them, but like these like kind of outdoorish malls where it's just an open design and they're just like a bunch of stores laid out in the around the beautiful garden. You have and the national not, mall. No, not, not strip malls. They're not like that. But yeah, like, you, um, you've got the national one. Oh, we, we, we do. And actually today, um, normally if I didn't have a, a, a match here, oh. I'd be down hunting uh, Pokemon on the National Mall. Is, uh, is that they, what you do? Uh, that's what I do. Uh, once a month, I go down to the National Mall to hunt Pokemon. There's about a thousand people uh, that come down to do that for uh, hunting them, not catching them. I, I, I do catch them, hopefully, but I am definitely hunting them. 
Yeah, Utah's a little bit weird because we still have plenty of malls. Uh, like, tons. And there's, they still do pretty okay with business here. But then again, I always say we're like, what, ten years behind? Oh yeah, oh. that's right. That's Full Lizards is right. It's Shiny Trico today. I haven't gotten one because I'm I'm here watching auto scrollers. That's what a sacrifice I've made for all of you. The, the, the things I, I sacrifice for for you all to have fun. Actually, oh. it, it's it's uh, they're, they're doing it later. So uh, community day is a little later today. So it's not over yet. Um, so y'all have 45 minutes still to get your shiny trecos, tricos. Oh yeah. Well, good, are, good. Are you a Pokemon person, Grosencha? Uh, I enjoy Pokemon, but I didn't know that The Last Guardian had a crossover with Pokemon. I, I approve of that. I think that's great. I want to get a shiny Trico. I'm not a Mr. Mime. Oh my gosh, old little bear. <laughs> Although I, just I that there's a I was a mime for Halloween once, Jeff. You were? Oh yeah. Were you trying to scare children? Was that it? Uh no, I went to a basketball game <laughs> as as a mime, and let's just say a lot of people were screaming and I wasn't. Basketball. Yeah. Let's see. You know, I'm glad that Steve Buscemi is a good audio composer, that way we have this good music. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> this is just... I didn't expect to take a nap today during Cusco Grande, but here we are. I just want to hear the next song. Oh my gosh, Sharif, how do you even get through this? This game is literally no impossible. Uh, Justin is asking if this is what he thinks it is. What's your guess? Ice Age? It is Ice Age. Why does have a gun? I don't know why he has a gun, Jeff. <laughs> or Justin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to Jeff on the microphone and you in real life, Justin. Okay. But uh, uh, One thing there, Justin, don't you think the little, uh, the bottom left drawing of the sloth is adorable? <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is adorable. Like, he's just smiling and is cute. This is a bootleg, Justin. Why would someone want to bootleg this? I don't know why anybody would want to bootleg Ice Age of all <laughs> stuff, but people probably have bootlegged Alpha and Omega at this point. And let's just say uh, that movie is not acceptable. That's on my list of movies that should have never existed. I put it lower than Food Fight, okay? Food <laughs> Fight was more decent. Not Food Fight. Was it Food Fight? Yeah, 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 that's what it's called. My list of animated movies, Alpha and Omega is at the bottom. Ooh, well how about that uh, dinosaur movie uh, slash game I had you play? That one is definitely up at least halfway towards the top, probably in the top quarter of animated wow. films. Yeah, I love it. Have you seen some of their other works? Because uh, they have, um, I, don't, I can't remember if they have an Ice Age one. They probably do, but they have most of the Disney films. Um, hey, James, no. This is so bad, Jeff. That These why people were... Uh... They took fourth place. How could you do this to them? <laughs> Jeff. I don't know, because it's cute. I don't know. Justin's going to be <laughs> messaging you later, okay? Because he's not happy. <laughs> you know, then again, I gave fourth place people Conan. So, I mean, you and I were of the same blood.
No, uh, let's just say, uh, okay, uh, let me go ahead and give you a quick rundown of the movie Food Fight. Because people are talking about it right now and we literally have nothing else to talk about with this match. Uh, Food Fight <laughs> is a movie that is about different store brands uh, going up against general store brands like I don't know it's like if you were going up against Kroger uh, and for some reason it turns out that it's all a Nazi allegory but strangely there are also some very uh, adult jokes in it and I don't know generic foods are Nazis yeah that's the message of the movie oh. I'm not even kidding you It's, okay. <laughs> it's one of the strangest plots I've ever, like, seen in an animated movie. And the actual food fight itself lasts for about, what, half an hour? And it's just the same stuff over and over again. So is there a video game of this? No. But... Oh. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. If, if any of you in, in China uh, pirates are listening, it'll be gold. <laughs> no! No, it won't! It's so bad! Apparently, by the way, like, they had mostly finished the film, and then somehow all of the film, like, all of the recorded scenes, because it was 3D animation, got deleted. And so somebody went back and instead of just scrapping the film and saying, that was a good attempt, you know, let's just not have this, they went and remade all of the scenes, and everything is creepy. It's so... I don't know. It. I think that somebody realized that the movie was terrible and they tried to rid the universe of its existence, but unfortunately somebody was just very tenacious and decided we're going to finish it. We somehow got... Uh, Doc Brown from Back to the Future, I, Christopher Lloyd, to do a voice in this, and we're not going to waste that. <laughs> Fair enough. It's just so bizarre. Well, in ten minutes, the universe will be rid of this game. Oh, please, please, universe, this. consume it. No, Sharif! Oh my gosh. How do you even- how- oh! Damage boosting off the fish! Sharif might actually finish the stage! Getting close. <gasps> fish. I'm so Bye. happy. <laughs> Karaoke. Oh, Zarf is just chilling on the continue screen. Did Sharif do it? Sharif? Ah. Uh. Oh, it's just... maybe the stream stuttered a bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, the fish! Okay. Stupid pogo fish. Dealing damage to Sharif. I don't know why there are pogo fish. I'm a little bit concerned, though, because he's only got one heart left. One more hit, and that is going to be a death. Please don't well, die on the auto-scroller. Some... please. That's how evolution happened. The fish came on to land once they got pogo sticks. Wow. No wonder nobody in Utah likes evolution. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Good job, Sharif, getting up on this platform. Zarf oh. is just opting to go back to 1-2 and not play the <laughs> auto-scroller. <laughs> Fair enough. I love it. <laughs> Karaoke going under the wall. Don't let the frog get you. Oh, good. The frog just decided to turn around. At least they're nicer than super pitfall frogs. If you can say that. I'm not really sure why touching that frog hurts you. It looks like it's a nice little frog. Poison dart frog. Oh, they could potentially- ooh! Chad has, actually has a good point. The 
pogo stick fish. Maybe mm -hmm. they're actually birds of sorts. I could see them being the stupid dodos. Yeah, I thought they were some kind of birds as well, but uh, I, I didn't want to make you look bad. Well, thank you, Jeff. I do that well enough on my own. <laughs> How long is this auto-scroller that Sharif is on? It's like a year long. I don't think anybody's ever finished it. <laughs> the world may never Karaoke know. is on to the boss! Hey, boss! Oh my gosh. We're free from the Buscemi music! Thank goodness! <laughs> There we go. Got it. Go. Doesn't have a lot of life left. Oh. No! No! Well, no! Well. No! <laughs> Jeff! Well. <laughs> this is not okay! <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm so sad! It's like both all emotions. Oh Sharif got to the rainbows. The rainbows! The, the, the... The rainbows and the chicken thing. I suppose? Oh my gosh, this is exciting. The second boss of the game. Okay. Sharif just trying to get through without taking damage. That's not gonna happen. Hey, it looks like Sharif beat the boss. This oh my great. gosh. We get to see a, a whole new world. Uh, sage. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, Shuri, you just made progress. <laughs> Jeff, yes, this you is, have to play it. <laughs> this is amazing, okay? I'm Ooh, not look gonna at lie. this. It's a cave, and there's. Spooky cave. Pretty much all the levels are the same. I mean, you jump on the red things, you collect the blue things. And... Yeah, that's true. But this one had, uh... Yeah, it was the same enemies. Well, there you go. I don't think anybody in the world's ever seen 3-1 before. This is a terribly obscure game. Yeah, I I don't think I would have played this far. I'm gonna be honest. Is this a world wreck? If Sharif wants to finish the game, it would... We'll call that a 2-4 world, world record. <laughs> yeah. Because nobody should play any more of this. <laughs> oh man, I hope Sharif can make it up to the next auto-scroller. Zarf is working on beating 1-2 again, I guess? I, I think Zarf's know. just giving up at this point. <laughs> I think Zarf's like, I am so done with this game, and honestly, I can't blame him. So, our, our standing so far, Sharif's made it the furthest, then karaoke. Yes. I think... I don't know who's made it further in the auto-scroller, Zarf or AJ. I don't know. And there's still a couple minutes left, I suppose, um... AJ could theoretically beat the auto scroller. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All you aspiring devs out there, if you put an auto scroller in your stage, don't do it like this, please. What do you mean, an auto scroller? <laughs> Every third level is an auto scroller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you... <laughs> oh, jeez. Literally one-third of the game. In terms of levels, and at least 90% in terms of playtime. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I like that the screenshot that you shared, by the way, of this game gave me no indication that there was going to be 
uh, that there were going to be auto scrollers. I mean, if you looked at the screenshot and you said, "Hey, it looks like Jeff is really nice and just picked an awesome game," then your thinking was wrong. But <laughs> yeah, <obviously. laughs> I understand you didn't know the the particular way in which your thinking was wrong. Literally the worst. <laughs> wow, but it's such an adorable game. And the I, you I know, think you said we've had early worse on games. in this match. We've had worse we games. I'll, I'll be willing to say that. I'll concede. I've definitely seen worse games in Kusa Grande. You're saying mm. at the beginning, like, you thought this was the best uh, bootleg you've seen? Something like that? Oh, well, that was wrong. <laughs> I was like, I think he's going to regret saying that. I would, uh, I would definitely rather play uh, any of those um, Hummer Team bootlegs. I don't know. Or the like, some of them, maybe. Like, Hummer is actually kind of fun, yeah. and all of, like, Titanic is fun, but this at least tries to be a game. I can give them that, and the double jump mechanic, I'll give them props. I actually enjoy that. But everything else is bad. And time. I'm calling oh, it. Oh, you did we, it. Yeah, Jeff. Right on the dot. I've got skills. That you is do. it. Thank you, everybody, for enjoying auto scroller music. Sharif takes first. Karaoke takes second. Between A James Archive and Zarf, I don't know though. I think it'll come down to uh, what our ref says. Let me check real quick. Okay, AJ Games Archive took third, and Zarf took fourth. Sharif definitely took the victory here and is a little bit shocked. <laughs> Understandably. Well, yeah, it's just spending that much time on the auto scroller. It's so bad. It's so incredibly bad. Hello, Sharif. How's it going? Oh, oh my goodness. That was Yikes. You survived, Shuri. Congratulations. Say, thank you. I did not... Uh, yeah, those auto-scrollers... So, uh, <laughs> from what I understand... From what I understand, no one else reached the second auto-scroller. Nobody um, got past the boss on the first stage. The second auto-scroller for the other, everyone else? Um, yeah, the second auto-scroller is 50 times worse than the first one. It's so um, <laughs> There's a couple of jumps that are like legitimately impossible. There's this thing where you like have to kill a bird and then jump on a moving platform and then there's like two moving platforms one of which is a blind jump and then you have to jump early and then like land in a little tiny like it's i did not uh when this when the game first started i i'm like eh, this is not too bad I've, I've played worse um and i also speed run a game where uh 70 of the time is just auto scrollers and this is too many auto scrollers so. <laughs> yeah it's so many <laughs> But, oh man! And then the music on the first auto scroller—is is it the same on the second one? No, 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 no. The second one's a lot worse, uh, actually. How? Uh, it's like oh. it's like this. Uh, it's like this like weird like um, it's supposed to be like very foreboding, but it's just off key synth basically. It's not not the best. Wow. Um, oh my gosh, this is. Oh yeah, and three one and three one is total crap by the way because you have to jump through a thing and then swipe as you're going down, and of course timing on the swipes is really strange. Yeah, that's so. what it looks like. Apparently, <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, it's bootleg. <laughs> yeah, this felt like a bootleg. Also, the uh, yeah, the the ice stages, the two, the level two stages were all, like had just like an incredible amount of lag. It was great. It was actually tanking my bit rate at one point. Wait, seriously? <laughs> wow. Yeah, my bit rate like cut, got cut in half during part of the auto scroller. That is beautiful. <laughs> uh, I I know that the like. 
there was a lot of lag in the game, especially during the auto scroller. Essentially, yeah. if you could get any other sprites off of the screen, uh, then yeah, that, that was is this... helpful. Yeah, killing killing enemies was great, but you had to hold the the ice cube because as soon as the ice cube despawns, then the enemy respawns right away, which is an interesting choice as well. It seems like people were pretty happy about the responsiveness of controls, which isn't the typical. Control. The controls were quite good. They were a little bit stiff, but I've played a lot worse. In terms of bootleg games, it was it was quite good. Okay, so controls, that that actually really surprises me, but I'm glad to hear it. And the hitboxes were really forgiving as well, so you could land a few pixels to the left of a, of a platform and still land on the platform. So there were jumps that weren't clear that you could make, but you can actually make. Uh, okay, despite that's actually good. Losing it, so. That's good to know. Well... Congratulations, Sharif. Would you recommend anybody ever go try to play this? Absolutely not. Um, I, I, I enjoy bad games, and if you want to just play the first two levels, then go for it. <laughs> but after that, it's no it's no good. It's there's it's the, the, the auto scrollers are way too tedious. Cool. Ah, uh, well, fantastic Thanks, yeah, job, Sharif. I think that we are going to be moving on to the last game in just a little bit. Oh my right. gosh, but now you get to breathe. Uh, by the way, I will still keep my kid cool promise. I promise, Sharif. Uh, that's good. I trust you. I trust you. Okay. Don't you worry. I'm glad that you trust me. <laughs> good. I'm a patient person, as you can tell from the auto scroller. So. Oh you yeah, go. you you managed to get through them. <laughs> All right. Well. Good luck okay. to the next people. Yes. Good luck. Anything else you want to pitch or say before you take off? Um, I'm taking I'm taking um part in a in a marathon coming up in the first weekend of. April called Valuethon and it's uh, raising money for Save the Children. So Ooh. it's uh, April 5th through 7th. Um, and I'm running, one of the games I'm running is the Page Master, which is a 20 minute game where 13 minutes are auto scroller. So tune in for that. Okay. Oh, I love, like, is that the Super Nintendo Page Master? No, no, it's the Game Boy Page Master. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Valuethon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm... Slash there you go. Cool. Have a good good to know. Thank you. Catch you later. All right, and Jeff, thank you very much for choosing this game. That was certainly an experience that we probably won't repeat anytime soon. <laughs> I think that one needs to be retired. <sighs> All right. It lived a good life. Well, Jeff, thank you, and we'll catch